Hi, this is Chef Inspire. I'm here today to talk to you about breaking free from addictive foods. You heard me, addictive foods. I'm going to give you four points, but the first point is going to be the five most addictive foods in America. The five most addictive foods. Number one, sugar of any kind. Fructose, glucose, maltose, all of these sugar forms that is more addictive than cocaine, than heroin. These sugars are so addictive. Not only are sugars addictive, but sugar is what cancer eats. Cancer craves sugar. Not only does cancer crave sugar, but there is something that's caused in our body that's called candida. It's a parasite that lives in our body, in our system, that craves sugar. And if you don't give it sugar, you feel uneasy, you feel restless, you feel irritable. Why? Because this parasite craves sugar. And if you do not give this parasite the sugar that it needs, it makes you get sick. So sugar, number one. Number two, McDonald's French fries. You heard me. McDonald's French fries. McDonald's french fries is so packed with preservatives. You can actually drop a McDonald's french fries underneath your car seat. Five years later, you find it, and guess what? It'll look exactly the same as it came out of the store. It'll look exactly the same. It may be hard, but it won't be molded. It won't be disfigured. It will be the same exact looking french fry that you got five years earlier. Not only this, McDonald's french fries has 17 ingredients in it. 17. Other than potato. They put 17 other ingredients in those fries. Packed with preservatives, chemicals, to make this food addictive. How many of you craved McDonald's french fries? I know you have. Number three soda particularly pepsi and coca-cola also mountain dew these sodas are so packed with sugar and so packed with caffeine that your body craves it your body craves it. it's some people that wake up in the morning and they gotta get a pepsi they gotta get a pepsi as soon as they get up why because their body craves this food So soda is number three. Number four, processed meats. I'm talking about hot dogs, lunch meats, bacon, 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 bacon for sure. Now bacon has carcinogens in it. This causes cancer, but it is America's number one meat. Bacon. Number four. I'm sorry, number five, fried foods of any kind that has these three deadly oils in it, corn oil, peanut oil, and soy oil. These oils are full with polyunsaturated fats that make your body crave that oil. It doesn't even break down those oils. What it does is stores them as fat inside of your body. These are deadly foods. And not only deadly, but they are addictive. You crave them. Let me go over them again. Number one, sugar of any form. More addictive than cocaine. McDonald's french fries. 17 ingredients. 16 and potato number three soda pepsi cola coca cola and mountain dew the three main culprits number four processed meats bacon number one number five fried foods of any kind 
that uses these three oils con um, corn oil soy oil and peanut oil deadly addictive foods point number two we must break free from th these addictive foods we must break free break the habit and how do you do that you replace the bad foods with good foods now what is bad foods bad foods are the ones that I mentioned above good foods are any food that is sustained and that is grown with sunlight plant-based foods foods that enrich your body that when you eat them they make you feel full they make you feel satisfied they satisfy you in the in in the cellular level point number three you will go through withdrawal symptoms when you start to change from bad food to good food the same type of withdrawal symptoms if you are trying to uh, kick cigarette habit or a drug addiction habit these are the same type of cravings same type of withdrawal symptoms that you'll have because of these foods that I mentioned above point number four why do you think when you eat these junk foods you still feel hungry maybe an hour later why because your body did not get the nutrients that it need to sustain itself that's why it still feels hungry even though you have just supersized your meal at McDonald's they your body does not even recognize this food as food so your cells are still hungry we have to try to get off of these addictive foods and put foods in our body that nourish us that gives us the power that we need to do what we need to do and to cause healing and sustain healing in our bodies. The more we do these things, the more we replace this bad food with good food, the healthier, the stronger, the more mentally focused we can be in our lives. This is Chef Inspire. I hope you get this. I hope you got it. And if so, guess what? Your life will be good. God bless you. Get it, got it, good.